So Tiffany Haddish is in the news again because it's just been announced that the film that she was featured in back in 2017, Girls Trip, that featured Queen Latifah, Jada Pinkett Smith, Regina Hall, a big all-star cast. It was a huge comedy, and it did amazing in the box office. They had a budget of about $16 million, and they made $140 million in the box office during the week that it was released. Now, since then, people have been tapping the shoulder of the creator, Tracy Oliver, and asking her, she's a writer, producer, uh, and a director, would there be a sequel to Girls Trip? And it was just announced this week that they will be creating a sequel to Girls Trip, which is going to be Girls Trip 2, featuring, of course, the all-star cast they originally had, which was Jada Pinkett, Queen Latifah, Regina Hall, and, of course, Tiffany Haddish. Now, since then... Tiffany Haddish has been caught in some hot water due to a short film that went viral from several years ago featuring her uh, playing the aunt of a young boy who was being sexually abused. Now, this also featured Aerie Spears, and there was a lot of inappropriate scenes that were recorded, all right, of this child in their undergarments and just things that I don't want to really describe, of course, because of the YouTube platform, but... The video went everywhere, and the people that were featured in it, which was a young boy and also a young woman who was also behind the scenes that is actually the sister of the person in the film, they sued Tiffany Haddish. They sued Aerie Spears, uh, basically trying to say that they were, you know, abused. And from there, it went all over social media. Everyone was on social media dragging Tiffany, you know, calling her a predator and everything else, and this substantially hurt her career. After that, Tiffany Haddish was caught in the airport walking through and TMZ asked her, you know, did this situation really affect her career? And she said that she couldn't get any bookings due to the situation that happened. And also, this whole thing ended up being settled out of court uh, less than a month after it went viral all over social media. Tiffany Haddish's lawyers jumped on it. They did what they needed to do behind the scenes. I'm not quite sure if they actually paid the victims off, the alleged victims off or what, but it went away. From a legal standpoint, it went away. But fans did not forget about this. And it wasn't a thing where it says, oh, allegedly, you know, the video was there. That was clearly Tiffany Haddish. That was clearly the comedian, Ari Spears. And that was clearly a young boy uh, being taken advantage of. And although this was supposed to be, I guess, a skit, you know, to warn people and trying to make a joke out of pedophilia, which is something that I, I, I that's just unimaginable um it just was not right and now i'm just thinking right a lot of fans right now that have seen that the girls trip too is coming out they're not too happy about it because they don't want tiffany haddish to be featured in the film now my question all right because based off of the role that tiffany played inside of the short film she didn't touch the child right she actually played like the unsuspecting mother or aunt that was dropping the child off uh, to be babysat by this uncle who was played by Ari Spears. And all the real disgusting, inappropriate things that happened involved Ari Spears. Now, although Tiffany Haddish was very much involved, you know, a lot of people on social media feel like she should be able to get her acting roles back because technically she didn't physically touch a child, which is very disturbing to me because it's like, really, are you serious? But anyway, now this film... Girls Trip 2 is supposed to allegedly feature Tiffany Haddish as well. I haven't heard anything saying that she was removed from the film or her role has been uh, removed at all uh, after this entire scandal. It looks as if they're supposed to be moving forward. They said they're supposed to be filming over in Africa, over in Ghana. Allegedly, uh, this is what the director of the film is claiming and that they're in full swing motion to move forward with this film. But Let's just think about it for a second. Do you guys think that the franchise will be negatively affected due to all the stuff that happened with Tiffany Haddish in the past year? And do you guys feel like she should move forward and be featured in this upcoming film and the sequel to Girls Trip and being a part of Girls Trip 2? There's a lot of people on social media do, that do not want her to be featured in this film based off everything that allegedly happened with these minors and this uh, un inappropriate short film. And, you know, and, and, and the question is, is, will the directors remove Tiffany Haddish uh, from her role uh, or will they stand 10 toes down and move forward with this film? And will it be successful? Now, there's two different ways they could go about it. You know, seeing that they're saying that everybody's supposed to come back, they're saying everybody, that would include Tiffany Haddish. They could take the risk 
and move forward with featuring her in the film, and we could just see whether all is forgiven. And when I'm talking about that, I'm talking about the money. Now, the last film, like I said, they made $140 million. Now, if they drop this film and it does anything less than $100 million, we're going to know that people are strongly protesting against Tiffany Haddish. Also, could her being a part of this film and the other ladies backing, backing her, which is Regina Hall, Queen Latifah, Jada Pinkett Smith, all of them backing her and moving forward, can that negatively make an impact on their careers? Because there are so many people, and it's not about black or white issues. There's a ton of black people that's no longer supporting Tiffany Haddish based off of the film that she was featured in, all right? And just because she wasn't the one pouring oil on the child and everything like that, allegedly behind the scenes, she was very much involved. She was the one that selected these children. She was allegedly, you know, abusing the children behind the scenes. This is what they were claiming in, in documentation, in court documentation, and lawsuits and stuff like that. I just feel like this could possibly be a bad move. In no way am I trying to be biased or hate on the woman, but I'm just trying to understand how can this franchise move forward without addressing the elephant in the room? You know, is there any other films that Tiffany Haddish may be featured in? Like, what exactly is going on? Because last time I checked, according to Hollywood, she was canceled. According to Tiffany, she said that she was canceled. Uh, she made a statement saying that they canceled her and that she couldn't get any roles. But now, all of a sudden, out of this clear blue sky, she's in this huge Hollywood film that she was previously featured in in 2017. But now they're doing a sequel and they're going to have her featured in it and move forward. Like, nothing happened. So I'm just trying to see, like... We can sit here and say, okay, Hollywood is, is saying it's all forgiven, but it's really about us as a people. Have we forgiven Tiffany Haddish? Have you forgiven Tiffany Haddish for this short film that came out featuring this young child and the inappropriate things that was going on? Aerie Spears' career never really really catapulted like Tiffany Tiffany Haddish's career. I mean, he was on Mad TV, but he's, he was never like such a big name like that. You know, I don't recall him being in such big blockbuster films like Tiffany Haddish. So for us, we won't actually know whether if it negatively affected his career because he didn't really have much of a career to begin with to me. But with Tiffany Haddish, we will know. We will know if all is forgiven because if they haven't forgiven her, people are going to protest on Twitter. People are going to boycott the movie. And also Jada Pinkett Smith and Queen Latifah, God forbid, I love Queen Latifah, uh, careers may be affected. Regina Hall may be affected. Even the director of the film, this may affect their careers in Hollywood for backing Tiffany Haddish. You know, it's like a collateral thing. Now, I wonder if there's enough buzz, because there's been a ton of buzz, like t tons and tons of people on Twitter just going off saying like, man, forget that, do the girls trip. You know, take Tiffany Haddish to roll out. Like, we're good on that because we don't want to support that. We don't want to support what, what was going on with that. You know, I want to know if they'll all of a sudden have to change the heart and remove her from the film. Now, if they do do that, will that cause even more backlash for people to not want to go see the film because Tiffany Haddish was removed and the, the fans that support her, you know, it's like, no, I can't go see that film. You know, I just feel like <laughs> even though it sounds exciting... All the controversy surrounding Tiffany Haddish right now and the things that she was allegedly involved in in the short film that was featuring with this young boy and all of these things that was going on has negatively impacted the franchise and the brand of Girls Trip. And then another thing, just to jump off Tiffany Haddish, another thing that may affect the film too, and I know this is probably, maybe I'm just overthinking it. A lot has happened since 2017 with half of the cast, you know, like, Regina Hall, Queen Latifah have been minding their business. But since then, you know, you got Tiffany Haddish scandal. And then, of course, you got the Oscar slap involving Jada Pinkett Smith and her husband, Will Smith. Like, I wonder if they lost a lot of people, like, fan, fan wise, I lost a lot of fans because of the things that has occurred within the past five years since they last recorded this film. I don't know. I don't know, but this is a conversation and me just opening a can of worms to, to discuss this because I'm seeing people on Twitter talking about it and it's just like, okay, they're going to uncancel Tiffany Haddish now, all right? She's going to be in this big feature film, doing a sequel, revising her role, moving forward, but will they make the money that they did five years ago? Can this be a blockbuster hit? even with all the scandals surrounding um, Tiffany Haddish, particularly with her. I just feel like, you know, I want to hear your thoughts about it. And I want to know how many of you guys are going to move forward and support this film and buy the tickets and go watch it, even with all the controversy surrounding uh, Tiffany Haddish and the situation that happened. Do you guys feel like 
Tiffany Haddish needs to actually do like a video or a verbal apology uh, to these alleged victims and try to fully address it before moving forward with this film. Do you guys think it's a possibility that the director, the producer, and writer of this film, Tracy Oliver, may have a change of heart and decide to remove Tiffany Haddish? And if she does do that, what will happen with this franchise? Will it affect the numbers and the money that's coming in? It's a really, really slippery slope that we're going down right now, just discussing it. But it's just been on my mind. And I, you know, I've seen it on Twitter and I just was like, damn, that is crazy. Like, I really like that film. But I did not like the fact that Tiffany Haddish was featured in that short skit. Like it just it just wasn't hitting for me. It was it was all bad. You know, you can't make it funny. Like you can't make uh child abuse funny. You can't make anything like that into a comedic sketch. Like there's nothing funny about it. And all the inappropriate scenes, you know, it was all bad for business. Outside of that, I wanna know your thoughts about this whole situation. And share your thoughts below. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. This is the DJ Jericho podcast where I talk about entertainment news, world news, and gossip. If you guys want to hear me everywhere else, follow me on Spotify, follow me on Apple, iHeart, everywhere you listen to your podcast. My podcast is available. I wanted to discuss this topic because this is a serious situation. Uh, I want to know whether you guys are going to move forward and support Tiffany Haddish. And just the franchise in general, Girls Trip. And do you guys think that she can move forward and get her career back after this entire scandal that happened with, with the comedian Ari Spears and everything else and all the allegations surrounding that? Outside of that, like I said before, subscribe. Follow me on all social media at DJJ Erica. That's everywhere, DJJ Erica. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Much love. Peace.